Liverpool needing a defender? Man United winning the league? Man City are back? What's up guys, it's TKO442 here bringing you another episode. I hope you guys are doing really well and uh, before we start this episode I want to quickly say that these episodes are now sponsored and you'll be hearing ads at the start or the mid of the podcast. Therefore don't get annoyed because I'm trying to make a passive income through this podcast and bear in mind I need to start uh, earning money from these stuff as well so um, apologies for the people who might find it annoying listening to these adverts but um, yeah just bear in mind these adverts are done so I can make a passive income through this podcast so let's get straight into the week 17 starting with Everton which is West Ham and West Ham and Everton that game played really well in terms of neck and neck uh, and I believe it should have been a draw but however West Ham got a, a good breakthrough in the 86 minutes, which was kind of lucky and was able to capitalise on it and got the three crucial points. I'm not taking anything away from Everton um, in terms of performance. They did play very well and uh, West Ham got a bit lucky and uh, was able to score, like I said. But uh, now moving on to the next match, which was Man United versus Aston Villa. Man United are looking like they're going to win the title. They are, if they keep carrying on like this. And the guy who's doing it for him is Bernardo Fernandes. And I would love to see how they perform without him. And uh, it was a pretty good goal by Ante Martial. It's a very good cross in from um, the right back. And uh, Ante Martial was able to uh, go in between the defenders and score a beautiful header. And uh, that's pretty much it to the first goal of Man United. But um, yet again... Uh, Bernardo Fernandez coming in and scoring a penalty for um, Man United to get the uh, winning goal in terms of performances and uh, was able to get the three crucial points for them. So that was pretty good. And uh, moving into the Saturday games, uh, starting with Spurs, which is Leeds. Leeds, mate, was underperforming that match. But however, Spurs, mate, these lot rely on Harry Kane and Son so much that if they don't perform, Tottenham doesn't perform. Talking about the game in detail, you can see that the first kick goal came from a penalty and it was on the line of the box and uh, it was given for a penalty and Harry Kane, as always, capitalises on that in the 29th minute. Then a beautiful cross uh, from Harry Kane to Son in the 43 minutes and obviously if you're going to pass it to Son, Son's going to also score and Son doing another trick in terms of a corner where he crosses it and... Uh, the Spurs uh, player was able to uh, easily header it in to goal, which was a very crucial uh, win for uh, Tottenham in terms of the performance recently, which was gone downhill. But however, yet again, uh, Harry Kane and Son doing a trick for the team. But uh, Leeds again uh, struggling against top teams, and uh, I wish they could have uh, actually opened up the game of play and scored of a couple of goals against Tottenham. But however, they couldn't and uh, the tactics has to be changed and I would love to see what they do in terms of the January market. I would love to see what all the teams would do in terms of January market and I might make a podcast on that, which teams uh, are needing to uh, buy players for this uh, January market as well. Now, talking about the Crystal Palace versus Sheffield United match, this ended up in a 2-0 win for Crystal Palace, a good win, a good clean sheet at the same time. However, Crystal Palace did have more chances to uh, actually score and they didn't capitalise on it. Uh, a goal that actually came into mind which wasn't capitalised was when Zaha passes to Benteke and Benteke could have easily tapped in. I believe it could have been a half chance even though uh, it was a half chance. It, it, come on mate, he was, should be tapping them in. Uh, and that could have been easily 3-0 for uh, Crystal Palace. But however, they've got the most important win, uh, the most importantly the three points. And uh, that's pretty much it. And the clean sheet is pretty good. Now looking at the next match, which was very interesting. Brighton versus Wolves. Uh, Wolves didn't perform to the potential. But Brighton did do really well. Considering that uh, there were two big mistakes from the centre-back of uh, Brighton. But however, even then, they still managed to draw the match. It was a miracle for them. And they did perform really well. And I want to see how they go in terms of the Premier League and I want to see them 
do really well. Um, I'm talking about Brighton here. And uh, Wolves, mate, they need to start fixing up. Like, because the majority of the goals were actually uh, down by a, um, a mistake. Burns, Dan Burns, uh, actually made that mistake and uh, was uh, gifted the penalty as well as their own goal. So um, in terms of that, Wolves, mate, I would like to see you guys improve. You're the mini Portugal team and uh, hater or not, uh, everyone's going to keep calling you that. And uh, a good thing about that, uh, a positive you can bring from that uh, game was that Semedo did really well. Uh, he got a cross in but did get a yellow card near the 91 minute but doesn't really matter in terms of his ability in the game was very good. Uh, assist and he was really uh, getting the crosses into the main areas of the pitch. So that was pretty well done from Brighton. Although Brighton needs to uh, fix up the centre back, especially uh, uh, Dan Burns uh, was very off colours in that game. Now moving on to West Ham versus Arsenal. Arsenal man, mate, I don't know what type of form you got in now or your recent less uh, performing uh, teams. You can say that, but they still beat uh, Chelsea as well. Uh, but West Ham not doing really well, but Arsenal was able to capitalise on it. Four goals. When did you see Arsenal score four goals? I haven't seen them for a long time, scoring this amount of goals and keeping a clean sheet at the same time. And one good thing about Arsenal is that Lacazette is back on form. And uh, he's scoring two goals uh, in that game. And um, one problem they're having is that Aubameyang is not scoring goals. It could be an advantage as well. Uh, just taking into account that what if Abamin gets in form and like I said, is still in form, then there will be a team to watch out for. I still believe that they cannot come into the top four, but however, they can actually get into the Europa League by getting into a better position than what they are in now. So overall for that match, West Brom, mate, you need to start fixing up your team and start performing well, otherwise you're going to get relegated 100%. And uh, for Arsenal, what a good start for the year and uh, hope uh, Aubameyang can join the going streak with Lacazette and uh, get you back into the top seven uh, in the table. So now moving on to the Sunday matches where we start with uh, Newcastle versus Leicester. Leicester was able to get the two goals. Jamie Vardy doing the key trick again. He was able to um, actually get a beautiful uh, pass to uh, James uh, Madison. Madison, mate, he's a different level of a, a player, was able to capitalise on that uh, opportunity and score it easily. And um, yeah, Tailsman in the 72 minute was able to uh, score the second goal. And uh, that's pretty much it for that match. Leicester was able to get the crucial three points. Moving into the Man City versus Chelsea match, Man City was able to outperform Chelsea and score three goals against them. Chelsea did get one late goal, which didn't really affect the game because uh, they scored it very late. But uh, coming back to Man City, Man City's performance has uh, gone back in terms of uh, goal scoring abilities because they are recently been scoring less goals and I haven't seen them scoring more than two goals recently. So yeah, that was pretty good uh, for that game. However, bringing this back to Chelsea, Chelsea again, uh, struggling against top teams and would love to see them back into uh, form and uh, it looks like they even might be struggling to get into top four at the moment because of the other teams and how other teams are performing really well so um, in terms of Man City very good win in terms of Chelsea you need to start performing otherwise you will find it hard to come to the top four in the team even uh, top five would be even here difficult at the moment but yeah, um, if you want to get the Champions League spot for the next year, uh, you need to start performing and start winning against top teams. So uh, the last match of the week uh, was Southampton, which is Liverpool, which I expected Liverpool to win easily. But the tactics were changed. We bought Henderson as a centre-back, which was a bit weird. And uh, Southampton scoring the first goal from a beautiful set play. And Danny Ings, the ex-Liverpool player, was able to capitalise on it. A beautiful kind of a lob. And it went to the right uh, corner of the goal. And yeah, very well. Very well played for that. And uh, we had a lot of chances. Trent was very surprising at that game because he didn't perform at all. He was the worst player on the pitch and he was off his colours. And uh, it was just a bad game for him. I'm not going to blame him in terms of his performance overall. 
uh, it was very bad, but you can't really blame a person just after one game. I wish he just turns back into form in the next uh, game because that game was not his uh, to his abilities. So yeah, Liverpool did lose, which was a big loss for us due to the fact that we we're wanting to win the league and losing against Southampton has put in an awful position where we could actually go down uh, very easily because of Man United having one game still in hand to play and if they win that, uh, they'll go on top of us. But yes, yeah, still early stages, but for us to win the Premier League again, we need to start making changes and the January period could be the perfect timing to bring in a great centre-back for us. Uh, such as Koulibaly or someone who has a lot of experience uh, to the team would be great and uh, yeah we definitely need a centre back and Van Dijk is truly being missed at the moment so that's it for the whole week in terms of the game week recap uh, we're going to go on to the um, fantasy Premier League at the moment and looking at uh, the points for mine as well as CFC News's Starting with my point for the week, which was a 54 points, which was below the average for that week. Uh, the average for that week was 56 and 54 due to the fact that I believe I had a lot of uh, Liverpool players in my team. Robinson, Antrim, as well as Salah. Salah was my captain and Salah didn't really perform really well in that game and last game as well. So I might be thinking of bringing a, a different captain for the next uh, week, uh, game week actually. And uh, let's quickly look at CFC News as one. His is even worse than mine, actually. He got 45. And um, yeah, another factor is that he also has put Salah for the captaincy. But he did have uh, uh, Kevin De Bruyne and uh, Bruno Fernandes in, uh, in his uh, team. So I believe that a great pick would be having either Kevin De Bruyne or Fernandes as a captain for the next uh, game week. So that's it pretty much. Overall, uh, my point is as of uh, 977, CFC News, your is 891. And I'm pretty sure you were saying January period, you'll be ahead of me. Still, there's curtains, bro. I can see curtains for you and me because I'm like 90 points ahead of you. So we will talk about that when we get you on to the podcast. Let's quickly finish off the podcast by saying the standings of of now. Liverpool in first place, Man United in second place, Leicester in third place and fourth place is Tottenham. So if you like this podcast and you're listening to this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. If you're listening to this on other platforms such as Apple Podcasts or Spotify, uh, make sure you follow the podcast and stay tuned for more. So thank you very much and have a beautiful day.